What is up guys? We are at Superstore. We're gonna be going over everything I'm gonna be getting for my meal prep. Well, not really prep, but um, basically meal prepping. I'm not prepping for a show or anything. No bodybuilding shows, just prepping for training and life. So I got my huge list right here as you can see. So I'm going to um, go through this and uh, show you guys kind of what I get, talk about a little bit, and basically just go over uh, what my diet looks like because right now I'm not, like I said, training for anything specific except my first boxing fight. I'm also training to add as much muscle as I can and stay as lean as I possibly can. So this is all high protein food, low fat, and then I'm just fitting in with my macros. So I'll show you guys everything I'm getting and then I'll kind of explain how to do your macros as well. So stay tuned if you want to learn how to do that and how to track them and how to get your nutrition on track simply by watching this video. So stay tuned, buckle up, and let's go. Okay. That took forever to set the camera up in the cart just for a few shots, but here we go. Oh, I need the list too. Oh. People are probably gonna think I'm talking to myself. Oh yeah, and this thing, people make fun of me all the time, saying it's a man person, this, that, and other thing. However, I forget every fucking thing all the fucking time, so this thing, I just put everything in it, set and forget kind of thing, and I haven't lost shit yet. And I'm someone who had a fraud committed on me after I lost my wallet, someone stole my wallet, but I've lost it enough that it was bound to have, and I imagine, so this just, prevents all of that. So make fun of me if you want, but it helps me, so fuck y'all. What is not cold stuff? I always put the cold stuff at the start because I start looking in my freezer first, in my fridge, and then all the cold stuff's at the top of the list. So then it's like, it doesn't make sense to put that in here. So maybe I should start at the bottom. All right, we're gonna go with some cauliflower, asparagus, carrots, broccoli, sweet potatoes. All right, we gotta get some veggies. Let's go. Now, oh. Hello? Grocery shopping? So it's usually unintentional, but I do a loop up and down every aisle and then a loop around the store and see if there's anything that I know we need and then I just look at the list afterwards and go and grab that really quick. So as of now, we've got our staples like some bananas. Some of these just because they're good to freeze. So I freeze some ground beef. They fit in our freezer a lot better than the packets. They don't get freeze or burnt as like the, the actual packets. They're a little bit fattier, but it's the best of both worlds. Um, we've got some original Greek yogurt for the girlfriend. She likes to eat the plain flavor. I do, don't ask, ask that's why she puts all her stuff in there. I like the vanilla, vanilla at least better than plain, just cause like plain. Just known for texture at that point. She loves these things, the beans, the extreme beans. So we got some of those. We got some asparagus. Uh, we got a lot of lemons because she's been drinking them like a sieve added into her water. So we got a lot of lemons. We got some whole wheat wraps, so we can have some like breakfast wraps rather than just scrambled eggs, just as they are. Uh, that'll add some spiciness to our lives. We got some Uncle Ben's, just because I like those for convenience. We actually do cook real rice, well, Tegan is at home. We cook some real rice, but I cook these um, just for convenience when I'm on the go. This I love to add, might use them with this, not sure, but it's always good to have on hand. We got some organic blueberries. I got my Mio's, so the best flavor on the fucking planet if it goes into focus is, okay, I guess it's not going to, is black cherry. So it is, oh yeah, time to see it, the black cherry right there. Then you got the lemon kanda entry time. We've also got all natural peanut butter that'll be adding to our meal plan. These guys, and these to keep me sane, I just get the cheap ones because I don't really like eating them anyway. Tegan's like, well I do, but Tegan's always like, because I'm good for you, blah, 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 So I just get the cheap ones to kind of keep me sane while I'm eating lean and cut. Then, we have some plain sparkling waters that I add this to, and a little bit of lime, and it tastes fucking just like a Sprite. Um, my creamer, silk, a Tegan's creamer, some sweet potatoes, some lettuce for salads, whole thing of milk, minced turkey, chicken breast, we got protein. Everyone always asks me, how do you get protein granola? Protein granola, this is it. Right here, this is the one. Then we got some organic coffee, beans, in the ground, some mangoes, because my girlfriend eats mangoes like a freaking, like they're going out of style. Then we got some veggies. And we got some bananas, because I love bananas. And I love eat. Oh, it's damaged. But I love Rocky Road ice cream, so that's like a little snack. So now, I go onto uh, phone, and I look at everything I didn't get. And I go for a mad scramble and get all of that. 
every day that I wake's a gift. My red eyes from these long rests. Early mornings with long shifts. Late nights wouldn't change shit. Catch a grip, but better hold tight. Like someday soon it'll be your night. Till the day I'm on, I'll be on my grind. Or I'll the leg till the day we die. My team. And I'll hold you down over everything. God damn it, my team. Only three on a level like me, motherfucker, my turn. I ain't going nowhere, and this I soundly swear. I give my life for a miss one night, God damn it, I'll put that down on my turn. All right, so I'm about to make a protein shake. I got just under two and a half cups of milk in here. So I'm going to show you guys everything I put in here. Next step. I already got them out, but bananas. These froze bananas. And a lot of people say, Oh, you should have fresh fruit, you should have fresh fruit, frozen, 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 this is not good. Actually, my friend, typically, frozen fruit, because it's flash frozen immediately, typically after it's plucked, after it's picked, whatever, it usually stays with the nutrients it has at that point, whereas if you go buy it from the store, it's losing nutrients the entire time that it's traveling to the store, that's getting to the store, sitting in the store, being bought by you, brought home, and then the entire time it takes for you to eat it, it's losing nutrients. Well, this is not. So, these are still good. The only thing that's a different, the only thing that's really different is the texture. And next, my friends, we've got the pure protein right here. So we're going to be putting in 30 grams of protein, 150 calories, one gram of sugar. We're going to be putting this in. Grams of protein. Scoops might be a little bit heavy, so we might get 32 grams. 33 if we're lucky. It's creatine monohydrate. Ribulus. So unfortunately, I've been very inconsistent with this lately, and one of the main things with creatine is being super consistent, so I am going to be putting in a little bit more than the recommended 5 grams. It's not going to hurt anybody. I'm going to put in two heaping scoops, just to try and saturate the mus muscle a little bit more, just so it gets into the cells a lot faster. And uh, yeah, ho hopefully I stick to it this time. I don't need to constantly reload, reload, reload. Typically I will put in ice cubes too, but as y'all can see, my ice cube trays are dry right now, so we won't be doing that, but it does add a nice texture to it. Um, but I keep it very simple. Sometimes I do put egg whites in there. You got some vanilla Greek yogurt. with the ice it makes it a lot better freaking delicious all right, what is up guys? So, I do wanna take a minute to help you guys take control of your macros, take control of your nutrition, and dial this thing in once and for all. So, in this video, I'm gonna explain how exactly to track your macros, how to find them, and how to track them. So, grab a pen and a paper, because this is gonna be very value-packed. So, if you're ready to take control of your nutrition and your health and fitness goals, get a pen and paper, and let's go. Macros, short form for your macronutrients, are the building blocks of your nutrition. So your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. This is basically what every food is made up of. So this explanation, we aren't gonna go too deep into things, we're just gonna keep it very generic so you can actually find and track your macros. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, DM me and I can help you personally. But for this example, for this video, we're just gonna help you get there. So your carbs are gonna be providing you with most of your energy. Your protein is gonna be used primarily to build muscle. And the fat is essential to balance out hormones and for brain and bodily function. But one of the biggest problems when it comes to all this is nobody has an easy understanding or people find it very tough to figure out if you're eating enough macros or enough calories for you and your goals. First things first, I'm gonna get you to go online, look up a calorie calculator, and you're gonna figure out how many calories you need, specifically you, for your body. This will be based off of things like your gender, your age, your weight, your height, and your activity level. Now you're gonna have to decide and input your goal, whether it's to maintain weight, lose weight, or gain weight, like build muscle. Then we take your calories for the day and we break them down into your macros, so your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. 
Your carbs will primarily come from food sources like breads, pastas, rice, while your protein will come from foods like beans, fish, chicken, eggs, these kind of things. And your fats, well those will come from avocados, nuts, healthy oils, things like this will provide you with the healthy amount of fats that you need for the day. The most common ratio of breaking these down for the average person starting out would be 50% carbs, 25% fat, and 25% protein. Now we've got to convert calories into grams. So to do this, we've got to know the equivalent for each carbs, protein, fats, and adjust it accordingly. So for every gram of carbs or proteins, you're getting about four calories. While every gram of fat will give you nine calories. Divide your total calories by these numbers to find out how many macros you should be eating of each. Then you'll want to use an app like MyFitnessPal to punch in your macros and start tracking the foods you eat and make sure that it's within your macro range as well as making sure you're close to your target calories. A key note here is noting the serving size because many, many things you track will have an alternate serving size than the one that you're logging in. So make sure those match as close as possible to ensure the best results. Now, obviously there's room for error in all of this. So keep note, start tracking and notice any changes in places that you can adjust because this will be key to seeing success long-term is being able to see the results, see where you're messing up, adjust accordingly, and then continue on with better laid out plan. Remember, it's honestly okay to keep this as simple as possible. That's why I love giving the macro-based approach because it's not like you need to eat specific foods at specific times. You can literally eat foods that fit your macros and the more cleaner you eat, just the better off you're gonna be. So if you do not wanna commit 100% to something super strict, macros is a great way. If you do wanna be 100% strict, dial in 100%, macros are a great way as well because it's constantly fluctuating, it's constantly changing, it gives you the ability to adjust on the fly. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you guys some value. I hope you understand it. If not, DM me. I will lay it out 100% specifically for you and help you find your macros right now and I'll set you up in my fit and fitness pal. And if you're interested, all it takes is a DM to change your goddamn life. Much love, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. If you aren't already subscribed to the YouTube, please subscribe. It may, means the world to me. It helps me impact a lot more people. It's not even about the numbers. It's not even about the like the reach is just about the number of people I can impact. That's what really means a lot to me. I've been doing this for so long that I just want to help change people's lives. So I hope you're getting value from this. Much love, guys. My name is Garrison. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.